All right, so I gotta make some points, clear some things up. What better way to do so than by pacing back and forth, brandishing my go-to sword. Help if I turn it right side up. So, an issue of safety has been brought up. Came to my attention by commenting on a fellow swordsman's video. Come to find out that a well-known YouTube katana guy made a couple comments on a couple of my recent cutting videos. Now, I've been watching this particular guy's stuff since I've been into katana. This dude sure knows his shit. Like, he has a lot of very, int very helpful how-to videos and whatnot. Comes off a little high and mighty, but, I mean, I watch his shit. I'm a subscriber. I got the notification bell turned on. And this man has the means to actually go to Japan and study under qualified teachers, and to the best of my knowledge, actually teaches in Japan, the country where Katana were born. And I respect that. I also respect his concern for my safety. And I really, really also would have been flattered to see that a swordsman of such renown had actually viewed my videos. That's fucking awesome. However, he must have deleted said comment when one of my very close sword friends replied and pretty much put him in his place. I had to fucking do some detective work and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, let's see, where was I here? Yeah, so, um, I found out what dude commented to him, so I had to do some detective work to piece it all together, but I think we can safely assume that's where the dislikes came from. Sorry, Scooby, that mystery's solved. It wasn't the backyard samurais, trolls, it wasn't one of the Turks, I'm having running arguments with about the Syrian conflict. I'm pretty sure I know where that came from. But I digress. So, let's see. First and foremost, I gotta get something out of the way that you may not have pieced together from the subtle hints I've dropped throughout my videos. For well over a decade of my life, I was a junkie. An addict. I used to shoot dope. And every time I put that needle in my vein, I cheated death. And let me assure you, that number's got to be astronomical, and I have the scars to prove it. Now, I've been off that shit for over six years now. And, like, that's not the point of this video. Like, I try not to mention it because it's embarrassing, man. But anyhow, I just want to get that out there. But one of the things that helps keep me clean is my sorting. The physical activity, the learning process, the super supportive community, having something to show for your hard-earned dollars that you spend, those are all things I value about this hobby. Actually, let me rephrase that, about this lifestyle. Because it is a lifestyle. I'm a swordsman. Might not be very practical in my day-to-day -day life, but I consider myself a swordsman. Alright, where was I? Alright. Now, I'm sure that the uh, ex-junkie thing may play a part in my devil-may-care attitude to some degree. But let me assure you, I do think before I act. The, when I was cutting the mat earlier, yeah, it was muddy and wet, but I was wearing Harley Davidson boots. Those are meant for riding motorcycles, going 60 and putting your foot down on the pavement. They're very traction-y, like, and combine that with the muddy, soggy state of the ground, and my feet were firm and in place. Like, that was better than on a dry day. Much better traction, I assure you. Now I kind of digressed from the script here. Let me find where my spot is. All right. And yeah, 
I do consider safety, trust me. Now on to some of my finer points. I try very, very hard to keep politics and religion out of my videos. But, I may have to touch on them just a bit here. First, I'm an American. I live in America. My five times great grandfather fought in the revolution that freed us from our colonial overlords. And in doing so, he enshrined into the fabric of this society the right to keep and bear arms. That ensures that any untrained jackass with just a little bit of money and a couple clicks on the internet can have in his hand in the matter of days a fucking three-foot scalpel. So that cat's out of the bag, my friend. God bless America. And just be thankful I'm not messing around with firearms. One day, God willing. <laughs> but now on to the religious part of the act religious -y part of the explanation. I believe in an all-powerful, benevolent, loving creator of the universe that has a grand plan that could never, ever possibly be fathomed by my feeble human brain. It all is as God wills. If he decides that I'm to lose a limb in a freak samurai sword accident, then there is nothing I can do to prevent that. Obviously, I do need to use my intellect and be as safe as possible, but as with almost all types of fun, there is some inherent risk involved. Now I hope I've made my point, as stated before, I'm truly flattered that you even viewed my video, and I sincerely hope that you view again. How about some pointers next time? I work two jobs to get by, I do not drive, and have numerous other obstacles and time constraints that prevent me from obtaining formal training. All I have is my comment section and those kind enough to make videos addressing my mistakes. I hope to one day j visit Japan, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. So please, in the meantime, teach, don't preach. Like, reach out, man. Tell me something. Be like, hey, you're doing this, this, and that wrong. Try doing this next time. Let's see. And, like, I don't see that that attitude kind of gets to me a little bit. Like, we should all be happy that so many people around the world are discovering the joys of owning and using Japanese-style swords. It's a great time to be alive, and I hope that we can all help each other grow and improve in all that we do. So, in conclusion, I understand my channel may not be for everybody. That's why I make it a point to never ask that people like or subscribe. I'm of the backyard samurai philosophy when it comes to that. If you don't like what you see, keep it moving. That's about all I gotta say about that. Thanks for watching, have a good one. Show me your teeth.